thanks anand uh, for joining this call uh, really Thank appreciate you. your time and uh, the, the the purpose of this call is to really understand from you uh, the analytics and data science and ai use cases in the banking industry and of specific use cases in payment banks uh, which you have seen and also focus on the partnership between transog analytics and fino we have been working together as partners for the last 5 years yes. how has that evolved and how analytics and data science along with transog is helping you achieve some of your business goals so my first question to you anand is is about the current environment which is obviously in everybody's uh, top of mind uh, uh, thing uh, in current pandemic situation how do you see the business evolving and specifically how data science ai and some of these uh, initiatives are helping banks to uh beat the competition and stay ahead of the game during this pandemic times mm, sure so uh, you know when whenever people talk about covid uh, we at fino always say that we've had this uh, you know our own full form of covid as creating opportunities in virus infected days so yes it you know it's been a challenge but at the end of the day you have to accept the reality that you know there is you know we've been through this pandemic we've been through this pandemic you know, and if you should take your precautions you do what best you can but this is the you know reality out there you can't wish it away um so in in this entire situation i guess uh, analytics for everyone has definitely come to the fore because what analytics does is it makes you efficient right i mean that's the uh, name of the game uh, i still remember a joke um, that i you know was often told uh, many years ago actually in banking that the biggest innovation in banking was the invention of excel all right so um, and before that the atm uh, mm-hmm. i guess we've come a really really long way since then and uh, very very clearly that's where uh, sheer availability of data uh, is definitely helping each and every uh, player in the space because uh, look, once you have the information it's only then that a journey can really begin uh you know there's no information then you know you're obviously just shooting in the dark or uh, you know you're just trying things out but with uh, availability of data the availability the ability to close loop on data and you know uh, get consumer feedback or uh, even feedback on you know whatever uh, hypothesis testing etc you're doing uh definitely makes everybody more efficient and uh, what this uh, you know crisis really really got to the fore was the need to be efficient and uh, obviously Yeah, well well i won't delve too much into whether it was uh, you know all these these are nice terms you know ai ml you know a lot of people have different interpretations of what these uh, you know terms are but uh, long and short really uh, is that uh, you know very very irrespective of the methodology i guess the core if you say the the rational theater of uh, you know analytics at the end of the day and i used to have this uh, in my in my startup you know as a poster on the wall unfortunately didn't bring it with me uh you know when i transited here was that we've always believed that analytics means uh you know seeing what everybody sees listening what everybody uh, listens to uh reading what everybody else reads but but being able to think through differently and tools and techniques only help you do that and uh, i guess that's where again power of partnerships etc comes in uh, and that's where the human part of analytics really really starts kicking in because at the end of the day these are algorithms at the end of the day these are tools right but uh, the right tool in the hand of the right person only gives you the right results so Absolutely. so that's the other you know big thing that uh, great to have all the tools but you also need to have good partners to be able to really uh, deliver on that sure so one partnership on and uh, transog analytics and fino payments bank has been partners for close to 5 years right. how do you see how did it evolve i know that in the initial days we were doing basic data gathering putting it together and then we worked on the use cases and of course that needs to be continuously updated and the recent data engineering effort so clearly there is a whole gamut of things it's not just always about uh, just doing analytics or data science the whole gamut of activities from data engineering to data science is very important so how do you see this relationship has evolved uh, between transog and fino to take payments back so uh, you know right i mean it's it's a you know, five year uh, relationship and that's uh, you know i think a, a good tribute uh, to uh, the teams and the quality of the teams that we work with um so i think that that's a big big uh, plus going in and um, you're right you know right from the initial days when there was uh, 
relatively uh, lesser data available to where the emphasis was, you know, just setting up the basic stuff uh, to now where you know, data engineering has uh, become so, so critical. Uh, it's been, a, you know, a journey. And um, at every stage, again, and that's why I've been a very firm believer that in any brand's analysis, uh, analytics journey, uh, people play a very, very critical role. It, it really, really boils down to people. And uh, that's where uh, I think we've really worked with some very, very uh, nice and bright guys. And uh, that's definitely helped everyone progress in the journey. And what I see going forward really is that now that there is a certain background, a certain uh, intelligence, which is you know now innate to the system that people have developed in, you know, comes in very, very reflexively. So the ability to do things starts improving better because you know, slowly the ability of the analysts also to understand the business starts getting better. And that's what gives a lot of potency to uh, mathematical models that one would uh, choose to use. Well, so I agree with you completely. I agree with you. And that's when I work with teams uh, at Transog. I always request them to focus on the business. If you understand the client's domain, client's business, then you can be a better data scientist or probably you'll be the best data scientist. If you just use mathematics and statistical models just for the sake of it, it doesn't help. It doesn't help. And, 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 and you made a very good point that it's important to take actions on that analytics and understand and learn from those actions and close that feedback loop so that we can further improve uh, data science and analytics. So Anand, the, my next question is, uh, what are the top two, three use cases which you uh, liked in the past that, that really helped from a data science perspective? I know that there was some work on the merchant side, customer side, and what would be one or two, two things that you would want to do going forward in the next few months? So, uh stuff especially on uh, propensity to offer the next best product uh, and on attrition uh, has been uh, something which has been useful uh, and very very relevant uh, to you know our ecosystem and obviously we continue to stay invested in that uh, going forward a lot of work around uh, you know consumer uh, subscription renewal uh, will become center of plate because uh, that uh, really has uh, you know, far reaching uh, impact so that's where, again, uh, use of the right uh, models, the right way of looking at information uh, starts becoming very, very critical. So that uh, the whole subscription renewal part will start becoming uh, even more important um, as you go along. Sure, sure, sure. So from a banking industry perspective, Anand, any thoughts? Uh, I'm not just talking about payments, but broadly banking, financial services, insurance. There's so much of... Uh, I read every day in the media that some fintech companies coming and bank is doing this data science and that data science. What is your thought on that? I know that a lot of times uh, people are even struggling to put their data together in some ways in some companies. But do you see merit in all of these? Uh, clearly, the, some of these AI data science activities have accelerated a lot in the COVID. Everybody's yes. going towards digitization and how to move ahead of the competition and do some of that innovation. Obviously, efficiency, revenue enhancements, all of this is very beneficial if somebody uses it, uh, right. so somebody uses data science in an effective manner. Yeah, so, you know, obviously, right? I mean, uh, it, and it's not that this is the uh, shiny new toy, uh, you know, on the block. That's really not the case. I think financial services, uh, by its very nature, has been at the forefront, financial services and healthcare. Uh, these are two uh, industries which have been um, you know, quite on the forefront around this. And, uh, you know, okay, off late, uh, one can say that the way the entertainment world, for example, has started to use analytics, if you look at the way the OTT platforms, et cetera, uh, start uh, leveraging uh, behavior, or for that matter, e-commerce uh, companies. So, uh, you know, the whole ecosystem that way is evolving. The good part is that today you have access to that many more data points. Uh, the skill of the practitioner then starts really becoming weeding out between you know what's just correlation and what is uh, you know driving you know, causality as such. Uh, so it's a good uh, situation to be in in that sense. And the brands that really crack that part as to you know, why this is happening, um, 
are the ones that would uh, you know win the battle i always give an example uh, in my uh, early days in analytics uh, we had uh, you know cracked one phenomenon that we figured that people who buy whirlpool fridges tend to take personal loans I mean, <laughs> fantastic you know we thought it was great insight and uh, when it came to implementation uh, what we did was that whoever would uh, come into our ecosystem trying to buy a refrigerator irrespective mm-hmm. of the brand that he or she wanted we would try and push them towards a whirlpool fridge <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, uh, I mean, ridiculous, right? Uh, you know, so obviously, it's going not going to work out sometime. So I guess that was a lesson learned, and uh, you know, we learned it the hard way. I guess now people learn it uh, better. So I guess that's where the difference will start coming in, and that's where to that point that the more the analysts understand the business, starts becoming uh, very, very uh, critical. And uh, cool. as much of uh, effort that is spent in collecting data from different sources. and then quickly being able to you know, get a sense of what will work and what will not uh, and why uh, is where the differentiator really comes in perfect perfect so again coming back to this partnership uh, of transog analytics and fino what are the two three things which click well you know we have been in this relationship for a very long time five years frankly speaking sometimes i feel i'm like a quasi employee of uh, fino and uh, i feel as if i am a fino employee in a matter of manner of speaking and uh, so what is that how is that bond uh, become so strong uh, and i really take pride in when i speak to people and say that we have been working with fino payments bank for, of course fino pay tech earlier for the last 5 years so i take a lot of pride in saying that so what are what are some of the things which went well in this partnership i guess it's the people right i mean really really boils down to that uh, because um, it's people their understanding of business and the ability to uh, then apply it uh, is is where you know everything um, works or does not work right mm-hmm. so if the teams are uh, that much more empathetic of the uh, business model or you know what uh, the of, of how the information is going to get used or what are the challenges then it ceases to be a very academic exercise and it becomes a far more practical uh, exercise in that sense so that's you know i guess uh, the highlight of these 5 uh, years uh, perfect quite not mm-hmm. really appreciated thank you so much anand and what i have seen uh, as a you know we work with multiple clients all the all the clients are good what we have seen fino stands out is that everybody is connected right from the ceo to to uh, the lowest possible uh, level of uh, in the organization in the hierarchy i mean while i know it's a flat organization but everybody is connected i see rishi connected you are you are connected on because all of you are at senior levels are very well connected and you have taken a conscious call that we have to have a data driven decision making within the organization and that really helps companies like us because then you see the value of work uh, by a data science company like transorg so so thank you so much uh, i really really appreciate all the support So Anand, uh, any other thoughts which you would like to share? Anything which you you would want to share with us? Uh, no, as I said, right. I mean, it's uh, you know, there's a brand. Uh, I forget the name of the brand, but uh, which always says that people are the prime movers, and uh, I guess that's always going to be true in our business, and uh, that's what we always look forward to um, when we uh, work together, uh, because. the value that the analyst brings is not just his or her ability to you know cut data or to run a model uh, but really to look at that information and say hey you know what these are the two things that really matter and i understand your business so between these two things you know this is the one uh, variable that uh, you really need to look at and go and uh, i guess that that's where the uh, value uh, really comes in and uh, we're pretty optimistic that that's always going to be the case absolutely and we really take pride in this partnership and we are committed to this relationship anand and uh, hopefully we'll get more and more opportunities to work with you on some evolving use cases i know that we have been discussing about some of the things which we need to do and that is uh, our top priority absolutely so really really appreciate your time anand thank you so much yeah pleasure of mine totally mine thank you thanks